find automating tasks between WordPress plugins impossible, especially with WooCommerce, and you could end up spending a lot on premium plugins to force this communication just to complete simple tasks. What if I told you I found a better way? Howdy, my name is Larry, and this channel is about making email marketing easier for business owners like you. Before we get to the solution, here's the problem. A client is using MailerLite and wanted a way for someone who subscribes through a pop-up form on their website to receive an automated email containing an auto-generated coupon code for their WooCommerce store. Simple enough task, you would think, but since MailerLite and WooCommerce don't support this natively, I looked at alternatives such as Zapier to connect the two. They were able to be connected, but I couldn't get WooCommerce to A, auto-generate a coupon code, or B, send the automated email. And if the client wanted this feature, they would have to buy a premium plugin from WooCommerce for $100 a year, and buying yet another plugin felt like overkill. Plus, the upgraded cost of having more than two steps in one zap would be an extra $30 a month. So what was the solution I came up with? Well, I remembered a similar product to Zapier called Shore Triggers that came into my inbox about a year ago. At the time, I explored some of the features, but that was about it. So I logged back into my account that I created a year ago and began exploring its features, integrations, and even checking out some YouTube tutorials to see if what the client wanted was possible. And it is. It's designed to solve exactly this kind of problem automating tasks across WordPress plugins without breaking the bank. It operates based on triggers and actions, just like Zapier. When a trigger event occurs, it initiates an action event. So now that we've found a product or software that will work for us, here are the three options that I came up with. And if you wanna learn more about Shore Triggers, there is a link in the description. No, it's not an affiliate link. It's suretriggers.com, you can go check it out at your leisure. But I wanted to show you the three options that I came up with. So let's go over to my Short Triggers account and I'll start sharing how I put this all together. I'm logged into my shorttriggers.com account and if we go over to my folders here, you'll see here that I've got my MailerLite Woo test options here. So we're gonna take uh, this one first. Now, the, my first option was to use SMTP because I know that there are free options out there. So if we take a look at my workflow here, so let's start with our first step in our workflow. And that is a subscriber is added to a group. So on the MailerLite side, I have a pop-up that when someone subscribes, they are added to a specific group. Now, if you're confused about MailerLite, I do have videos up here that you can go check out that have a lot more information on how to add groups or associated groups with your forms. So that's step one. So we can go in here, we've got the app called MailerLite, it integrates directly with Short Triggers with that. And so you've got to set up a connection to that. Once you've done that, you go into your configuration. If anyone is added to this specific group, then do the next step, okay? So that's step one. Step two is we need to generate a coupon. So if we click on this, one of the options for the event is to create a coupon. And then you have to associate where the WooCommerce store is. Now for my testing, I associated it with my WooCommerce store on my website. Then we can go into configure. And then in the configuration part, where's where we can set up how much the percentage off, uh, expirations date, uh, we can add in individual use only, exclude sale items. We can select uh, specific products or exclude products or categories. So there's a lot of options here under the configuration for your WooCommerce. And then of course, we have to test out the action. So we've got that done. And so the last piece to put together in this puzzle was to send the email with the coupon. Now with Short Triggers, they have something called send email. Now send email is an SMTP. And so I was looking at SMTP service providers and there are quite a few. The most popular one I think a lot of you might be know of is Fluent SMTP and that's free. But since we're in the MailerLite world, I was looking at MailerSend and MailerSend does have SMTP. 
I had to create an account with MailAscend that is free to start, but at some point I'm sure it would be a cost. And the other thing that I didn't like with this setup is that anyone who got the automated email was added to the MailerSend account. So it was maintaining two lists at the same time is not ideal. So I didn't go with this option to the MailerSend. I'm not sure if it would work better with Fluent SMTP, would Fluent capture the email addresses? And I didn't want to spend the time to figure that out. If you know the answer to that, post in the comments below. So that was our first option using SMTP. The second option I thought about was WordPress itself, uh, WordPress self-hosted. So we set up the same process. We, if a person is added to this particular group, then create this coupon, auto-generated coupon, and then send an email through WordPress. Now the problem with WordPress is using the hosting service provider as a email service provider is pretty much a no-no because it lacks deliverability and reliability because you're relying on a hosting provider to deliver email. So I didn't really want to use their service if I didn't have to, but it worked. And I was getting emails into the inbox. So that's important to note. So it's the same process, except under the send email, we have a, the event as send email. And again, we're connecting to my WordPress website. And if we go into configure, you can see that this is how we set up the email. We have the from email, the from name, the two would be auto-generated by the person that's filling out the pop-up form. And then we have a uh, howdy and then the subscribers first name and last name we can put in there and then we can add in the coupon code here with the integration with WooCommerce. You just click on this little database icon here and then instead of mail or light options, you can go into the WooCommerce options here and add in the coupon code, which is uh, right down here somewhere, right here, coupon code. So that is this, this piece right here. And then I put in a little, you know, happy shopping and a link to the website to go shopping. So that was all well and good. So that worked fine. The send email worked fine, although it was adding people to the mail or send account. And I didn't like that. So my last option was Gmail and in particular, uh, Google Workspace. I know the client has Google Workspace. I have Google Workspace so I could test it out. So again, the same process, a subscriber is added to the group via the pop-up form auto generate the coupon and then we're going to send them an email through our google workspace email so if we click on that and we take a look at that we've got our app as gmail and again we're going to do a send email but this time it's going to go through gmail and if we click on the configure tab we have the same information here who's it going to who's it from from name with the subject line you can put in the subscribers information into the subject line to make it more personalized and i did the same thing here in the email itself the <laughs> the image i have just for testing is gigantic i would not recommend that but you get the gist you know it says howdy and then it inserts the first name of the person welcome to the sms newsletter hey you buy my stuff uh there is some options here to left center and right align the image but I think it's because it's so big, it's not really gonna work that well. And again, we're inserting through the uh, database here, the database options to insert the field of the uh, WooCommerce auto-generated coupon. And we'll just click cancel on that. So that's what I ended up doing. And Sure Triggers works fine. Uh, I did have to upgrade my Sure Triggers account to $12 a month in order to get that third step, which is the important part, which is sending the email back to the subscriber with the coupon code. So there is that to that piece. So, but it is uh, still a heck of a lot cheaper than if the client were to buy $30 a month for the three-step zap and then to buy that premium plugin in order for WooCommerce and Zapier to auto-generate that coupon. So those are the options that I came up with. I'm interested to know what solutions you might come up with to this type of problem. Let me know in the comments below. And what are you struggling with the most when it comes to email marketing? Is it the technology? Is the communication between softwares and plugins and all that other stuff? Let me know. Happy to help any way I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.